Hemiptera. Bugs. Order. Hemiptera. From the Latin word Hemipterus, meaning half wing. True bugs are an order of insects that includes approximately 80,000 species divided into families such as cicadas, aphids, plant hoppers, leaf, ho leaf hoppers, bed bugs, and shield bugs. Here are the examples of the true bugs. Genus Cymex. Cymex is a genus of insects belonging to the Simicidae family. Cymex species are ectoparasites that feed on the blood of animals such as brains and mammals. There are two species, Cymex lectolarius and Cymex hemipterus. Cymex lectolarius. Cymex lectolarius is a species of Simicidae. Its primary host are humans and it is one of the world's major deterrence pest, and they are also known as the bedbugs. Cymex hemipterus, also known as tropical bedbugs. They are a simicidae family that primarily resides in tropical climates. Triatoma is a genus of assassin bugs belonging to the triatominae subfamily. Triatoma members are blood-sucking insects that can spread deadly disease like Chagas disease. Bedbugs General characteristics of a bedbox. Common name is bedbugs. They are 4 to 7 mm. Males are smaller than the female. Torso ventrally flattened, oval in shape. They are also yellowish brown to dark brown in color. Head. Their compound eyes are large, well separated, and project to the side of the head in a distinctive manner. The mouth parts are of are of the piercing and sucking variety, and they are also of segmented antenna. The thorax. Prothorax is deeply notched anteriorly where the head is in, inserted. Hemilitral pads are oval pads on the mesothorax that can be viewed laterally. They appeared wingless. Abdomen. The abdomen of the Semex lectolarius, also known as bed bugs, has 11 segmented with 2 to 9 segments easily recognizable. When the bed bug engorges, the abdomen increases in volume and exposes the intersegmental membrane, which are called the hunger folds, situated in the mid ventral lines of segments 2 to 5. Seven pairs of prominent spiracles are seen. Spiracles are a breathing hole of arthropods. The general characteristics of abdomen in females. In females, on the posterior margin of the fifth segment is present the organ of Rivaga, inside which is a gland called the Berlis gland or the organ of Berlis, which is the ectospermilage. Young bugs show the presence of the stink glands in the abdominal region. Life cycle of Semex lactolarius, also known as bed bug. There are some minor differences between the species, but for Cymex lactolarius, eggs are laid on rough rather than smooth surfaces and generally inserted into cracks and crevices. They are laid individually and held in place by transparent cement. The eggs are cream in color, approximately 1 mm in length and less than 0.5 mm in breadth. In the life cycle of pet bugs, there are 5 nipple stages. Five nipple stages which resemble the adult are produced. Adult stage under favorable conditions is reached in 8 weeks. The bugs are nocturnal but bite the host during daytime when the host is quiet. They travel long distances, attack men and animals to suck blood. They can withstand long duration of starvation. Although it only takes bed bugs about 5 to 10 minutes to feed, they are able to survive for several months without a blood meal. So here, we will be talking about the effects of this on host. First, it bites the host and sucks the blood, causes irritation to animals and birds, disturb the sleep of the host, intense irritation due to saliva, bugs feed and defecates on or near the bite wound that could provide disease transmission. And lastly, Hepatitis antigen can be seen in the feces of bugs and can affect susceptible individuals. Next, 
Triatoma bugs are used in cyanodiagnosis technique to detect Trypnosoma cruzi in humans. Bed bugs, like the triatomines, can transmit Trypnosoma cruzi, the parasite that causes Chagas disease, one of the most prevalent and deadly disease in America. The bed bugs may be just as dangerous as the triatomine or the kissing bug. So how do we control this? Organophosphorus and organochlor compound can be used as sprays and powder to be applied in the crack and crevices. Synthetic parathyroids are also effective. And that would be all. Thank you.